A new note on the case for God by Karen Armstrong. As mentioned in the previous two or three notes, uh, this is a fantastic uh, divine book. And um, one important aspect that I like about it is the fact that um, the author speaks about about God in various religions, first of all, and then um, there are also aspects which critics, atheists, those who reject God, use. Um, in fact, she even mentions that uh, Dawkins, the famous uh, authority on uh, on atheism and uh, the, the absence of God, so to say, would do this. This uh, scholar would do better to to engage more in in discussion with um, with those from the theological side who. Where is God? I mean, she's old, she's de decrepit, she, you don't see it, fortunately. But whenever she comes out, she drops from her. She still has, on one hand, she still has strength enough to make it uh, seem cruel to put her to sleep. And on the other, she makes life not really miserable, but hellish. Anyway, lucky you don't smell. In the future when these would have also smells, it will be cool to add the smell of this uh, beast. Anyway, the place for God. Uh, there is, uh, Karen Armstrong, there is also a, um, not a criticism, but an assessment of the evolution of God within various doctrines. Speaking of the Christian religion, uh, God was like a nice being. Like her, we, we're, we're not supposed to say being. There's so many new things that we learn from this book, especially me. And one is that the supreme being is wrong. God is not a being. God is nothing, some of the theologians uh, used to say. To emphasize that the fact that he is nothing we can describe, we can encircle with words. But, coming to the scriptures, Bible, the Old Testament, these stories about God, they describe him as being generous, kind, to begin with, but then he, he starts making favors, Vengeful, speaking of this uh, Noe, Noe's art, uh, when he, the vengeful God destroys everything. Crucial is the, the need to uh, go beyond these stories. These stories are myths, they have been created by 
by people. Authors have been more or less identified. I mean, they, they don't know this is uh, uh, Homer or just giving a name. Balzac. Uh, let's use another. They, they cannot uh, say that, and he lived uh, this time such and such a period. No, but um, still, there is uh, an identification in the sense that. Uh, there is somebody from the south of Israel who has created this version, this site, and uh, somebody else uh, insisted on Elohim. And, uh, so, uh, the authors were from here, not the vine, but the meaning is, is supposed to be not literally, not uh, taken for granted that there were seven days, that uh, uh, Moses did go on that mountain and this is what happened exactly. In fact, to end with this note, um, they have even tried to uh, follow in the footsteps and see, for instance, proof that if the seas did not part when the Jews escaped from Egypt and led by Moses they could go between two walls of the uh, see, so to say, um, they wanted to see if a, 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 a flash flood happened, if some, but there's no proof of that, and furthermore, um, looking at documents, there is also no evidence that there has been such a big migration, such a change in, big change in numbers. But there's a myth, we have to think in terms of myth and symbols.